Next, I'm going to describe how to use the buttons at the top, add labor, add comment, and add product. Now, in order to place material input anywhere that you want on the page, whenever you click on a line and enter anything, the materials or whatever you enter will go above that line. In this case, I'm clicking on line two here, and I want the my, my uh, labor that I'm adding to go above that line. So I go to here and click the Add Labor button. Now the, the use of the Add Labor button is for stuff like demo. If you have to estimate demolition or removing electrical items, you have to figure out how long it takes to do that and manually input it here. Let's say in this case that I want to demo a panel. So I'll just type in a description, Demo Panel. And let's say I'm going to add eight hours for that. So I'm going to put in a quantity of one here. And I go over to the labor hours column and type in eight, however many hours you want. Next, you save your work. So I'll click Save here. And you'll see that it saves the labor for demoing a panel. Now again, use the Add Labor button for stuff like trenching, backfill, and compaction. If you have somebody working on the back of a trencher or using a trencher for trenching, you calculate how many hours it takes and you input it using the Add Labor button. Same example I gave you with, with Demo. You figure out or calculate how long it takes to do Demo on a project. You come in here and manually input it using the Add Labor button. Also, if you're moving large transformers or large panels from the truck or from the curb to the electric room, you'll want to calculate extra labor for that. If it takes two or three guys to big a big, to, to rather, I should say, to move a big piece of switch gear, then you'll want to calculate how many hours that takes and input it here using add labor. Next is add comment. Oftentimes in my estimate I have comments all over it for reminders. Let's say right here right here, I see that I input a comment already. It says panels installed on second floor. Now I'm going to save, click save here and it'll remove my highlighted um, line there. And let's just say that I want to add a comment here. I'll scroll down a little ways and I'll just say uh, I'll click on line 24 I'll click Add Comment, and I'm just going to type in Underground, and click Save. When I do, I'll scroll back down and see that I input a description right here on line 24. Okay, I'm going to click Save to remove the highlighted line again. Same if you want to add product. Now, add product's a little bit different. You have to input multiple items, and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to click on line 3, and I want to add product above that line. So I click the Add Product button. Next, I type in a description. Let's say that, I, that there's materials that aren't in Red Rhino that I want to add. Let's say it's a specialty light fixture. So I'm just going to say uh, chandelier. I'll type in a description. Hopefully my spelling's correct. I'm going to put in a quantity of 1 here. And let's say that the chandelier costs $380. I'll type in 380 for the unit price. And I'm going to say it takes four hours to hang the chandelier. So I'll type in four for the labor column here and click Save. So again, when you use the Add Product button, you must input a description, a quantity, the unit price, and the amount of labor. So you populate all of those. And you have to determine what that is. Uh, in order to input it. You have to know what the cost is for the materials. Okay. Now that said, I want to explain something. I already explained that when you click on a certain line and add materials that goes above that line, let me show you something else or explain something else. Let me, sh let me say for instance that you want to, let's say for instance that you want to delete lines of material or edit them. So I'll show you that next. Let's say that you want to delete line items. One way you can do it is just by clicking on a single line clicking the delete button and it will delete that item. So let me show you. Let's say I'm going to delete this whole channel here. I already highlighted it, clicked on it, highlighted it gray. I click delete, you'll see that it disappears, and then I click save to save my work. You always have to click save and save your deletions. Now if I wanted to edit that line, I would have just clicked edit. Example, I'll click on line 8 here, which is rod. I click edit. And see how it opens up and allows me to type in or change any of the descriptions in the open dialog box? You can change the description here, the quantity, change the price or the labor. Now I click Save to save my work here. Click Save. 
You can also edit multiple lines. So I'm going to hold down the control button and I'm going to click on multiple lines. I'll hold down control. I'm going to click on several lines at one time. This message I see here is actually from Google Chrome. You won't always see that. But I'm just going to click on multiple lines here. And if I clicked delete right now, it would delete all these lines. But I'm just going to click edit. Might have to click it twice. And again, it opens up dialog boxes where I can I can edit multiple lines of material at the same time here. I always click save to save my work. Now one more quick example of how to do this. You can also hold down the alt button and do this. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on line 8. And let's say I want to I want to edit items from lines 8 through 16 here. So I, I clicked on the line 8 first and highlighted it. I hold down the alt button, click on line 16 and it highlights all the lines in between. If I wanted to delete all these materials, I would click the delete button and click save. But in this example, I'm going to show you how to edit it. You just click the edit button at the top. It opens up dialog boxes here. You can type in or change descriptions. Again, quantity, unit price, or labor. When you're all done editing, you click save to save your work. And that's how you edit line items in the material takeoff.